Periodic table has a long, long history. Periodic table has a long, long history. A very long, long history. A very long, long history. Periodic table has a long, long history. A very long, long history. Elements are so many. Elements are so many. Studying all these elements is a very big mystery. Studying all these elements is a very big mystery. Periodic table has a long, long history. A very long, long history. There was one scientist. His name was Debernier. There was one scientist. His name was Debernier. He saw three elements grouped with almost same properties. He saw three elements grouped with almost same properties. Lithium, sodium, potassium. Lithium, sodium, potassium. And calcium, strontium, barium. Lithium, sodium, potassium. And calcium, strontium, barium. He grouped them all together and called it law of triads. He grouped them together and called it law of triads. Periodic table has a long, long history. A very long, long history. Periodic table has a long, long history. A very long, long history. Then there came new light. Then there came new light. With a brand new idea. Then there came new land with a brand new idea. He put elements together. He put elements together. Found every eighth element is almost all similar. New lens put elements together. And found every eighth element is almost all similar. He called it law of octaves. He called it law of octaves. He called it law of octaves. Periodic table has a long, long history. A very long, long history. Then there was one scientist. Then there was one scientist. Very famous scientist. His name was Mendeleev. He took elements together. He took elements together. And put them in the order. He took elements together and put them in the order with atomic mass increasing. Atomic mass increasing. That gave basic framework for today's periodic table. That gave basic framework for today's periodic table. Periodic table has a long, long history. A very long, long history. Periodic table has a long, long history. A very long, long history. Then there came Mosley. Then there came Mosley. He took elements together. He took elements together and put them in the order. Mosley took elements and put them all together. With atomic number increasing. Atomic number increasing. That's what gave birth to modern periodic table. That's what gave birth to modern periodic table. Periodic table has a long, long history. A very long, long history. Periodic table has a long, long history. A very long, long history. There was one scientist. His name was simply Seberg. There was one scientist. His name was simply Seberg. He said, Not good. Not good. There was one scientist. His name was simply Seberg. He found some more elements. He found some more elements and put them all together. He found some more elements and put them all together at the bottom of periodic table. He put all those elements at the bottom of periodic table. 
He named the first row lanthanides. He named the first row lanthanides. And he named second row actinides. Lanthanides, actinides, lanthanides, actinides. Periodic table has a long, long history. A very long, long history. When all that work was done, periodic table was done. Ready, set and ready. Ready, set and ready. Periodic table has a long, long history. Periodic table has a long, long history. A very long, long history. Periodic table has a long, long history. Periodic table has a long, long history. A very long, long history. Periodic table has a long, long history. A very long, long history.